Hey, listen. Did you make an end today? Did you get a distinction today? My grandmother told me, baby, go and break the world record in mathematics. Easy. Now, let's read some comments before we get started. Okay, this first comment say, yo, Mutwana, you know, you, you, don't, you don't understand. You make me get 96. Oh, my God. Man, there's a lady here. She said, yo, her name is Boy Kanyo. She said, yo, Mutwana, you know, as long as I'm with you, there with me, I know is the rat. Okay, and another one she say, yo, you know, I just wish you for, uh, no, no, what's her name, what's her name, what's her name? Lebohen, she say, yo, Mutwana, I wish if I could know you, I wish if I could knew you like for a long time before, but look now, I only find you now, and I end up getting 30%, I'm sh I even feel shy to tell you this, but I have to tell you so I can step up and do better. Now, without Father Jew, let's get started. So we have a question right here. So the question is say, yay. Solve this one right here. These are very easy, right? So we say, look, the simple interest rate is equal to discount rate. So we got two types of rates here: discount rate and simple interest. The simple interest will represent using what using, uh, using what using R or sometimes I, and discount rate will represent using what letter D, letter D. So we have a formula that we use. There is a formula which involves the relationship of the two of the simple interest rate and discount rate the formula say the formula say equal to d one dt so this is a formula which it help you to solve the uh type of question which involve the relationship between simple interest rate and discount rate okay now we go so what do we have they say the discount rate we have and the time is 18 months but at the time it's 18 months, we have to change to years because some has to be years. Month, which is 18 divided by 12, because every month you have divided by 12. Like somebody said, oh, there's six months. So change to years, just divide by 12. And then this is going to be 0 0.5. Years. If somebody said, oh, there's seven months or three months, you say three divided by 12, and it's going to be one over four years. So for now, they say eight, uh, 18. So it's going to be 18 divided by 12. And it's going to give us whatever they give us in months so now in years means okay so now we say well what do they want they say the simple interest rate so they want simple interest rate which is out they're looking for out of the simple interest rate which is equal to the discount rate oh, so they give a discount rate they give a discount rate for how long 18 months by time so now they wanted to find that uh the, the the simple interest rate okay so now i'm going to say my simple interest rate using letter R equal to discount rate discount rate equal to 12 so I'm gonna say my 12 percent over 1 minus what is the discount rate equal to discount rate equal to 12 percent make sure you put your percent and then multiply by time what is the time 18 months but over 12 because you have to change in years so do like this so we don't make mistake okay okay Okay, so we're going to plug in the calculator straight away. Let me plug with you right here so you can see how we do. Okay. Now we say, okay, well, uh, let's plug in the calculator. So bring the calculator right here and say, okay, let's go to the fraction. We say fraction. And they say 12 on top. So this is going to be 12. Da, 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 shift in then. That one. Oh, sometimes it's like now. Okay. Let's come to. Okay. Okay. One. Put your one there. Okay, and they come to the bottom, come to the bottom, and they say, okay, put your bracket exactly the way how you see it. One, and then we minus, and then we say uh, 12%, 12, shift. Sometimes I calculate the thing going slow, so please be patient. Shift in the times, the times, they say fraction is going to come, no problem. We just plug in, it's going to come. 18, and then we over 12, we over 12. And then we come and close, and then we're gonna close. It's gonna come now. It's kind of slow to calculate. So that one, you plug every everything, and then it's gonna give us if you say equal to, and then if you say equal to, it's gonna give us uh, okay, say equal to, and then it's gonna give us fourteen point six six. So our answer here is gonna be this one right here. Okay. So now let me show you the second question, right? Because very, very similar and it's very, very important. You have to know it, okay? So we say whenever you have a relationship between discount rate and 
interest rate, you have to use this formula right here. Okay, this formula here. Okay, so whichever information they want to give to you, if you don't want to use the there's another one which is very similar. See, it depends what they want, or you can say, let me just erase everything. So that one, let's fix in the calculator how did it give us. Oh, it's still okay. I thought maybe give us the answer. Wait, okay, say 12. I apologize. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You gotta be 12. You gotta be 12. Come on, come on, come on, come on, boy. Come on, boy. You come here. Come. You know, some people say this guy is so playful. He's so myth, but it's something I don't like about him is playful. Oh, yes, I'm playful. Cause that's how myth one. You don't have to be too serious. You're just having some fun. That's how you do math, okay? Oh yes. Now they say, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get the answer. Get the answer. Did you make end today? <laughs> He's so noise. That's what I don't like about him. Oh yeah, I'm so noise. Okay, let's just wait for the answer. Let's just wait for the answer. Come on, answer. Just come, please. Come here, come here, baby. Come, 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 come. Okay. Answer come, please. Okay, let's say it can. Okay, eco. We want to make sure that we get the right answer. Sometimes it's up. I don't like when it's taped up. Okay. And then that one we say is D. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Let me plug again the calculator. Sorry. Okay, so you're gonna say fraction, fraction, and this is 12%. Uh take 10. That's what I like. It's okay. Come zero and they say tap in a fraction. Fraction, okay, 12, sort of there, 12, and then we come, you see, shifting, okay, percent, and then go to the denominator, go to the denominator, I want to go step by step, not till when it comes, okay, bracket, bracket, 1, 1, minus, minus, 1 by 1 until when it comes, okay, so we got 12%, percent they we say, fraction, 12, Shift percent, shift percent, waste percent, percent, come, 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 percent. Because I say everything must come, okay? Then we multiply by a team and then we over, we over 12. 18 and then we over 12. Okay, divide by 12, 1, 2, and then we come here. And then after we come and then we must close okay okay let me close because i want to make sure everything is comes up there you see i conclude the answer before it even came okay let's go let's go let's go let's go and then this the answer is gonna be just wait just wait answer answer please okay answer 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 oh my god okay so let's put in sd when you put in sd remember this rate okay let's just come let's come let's wait for it to come oh this calculator is slow man i apologize okay so you see you get there right so thus you must multiply by 100 because that rate is not yet look this is zero zero point uh zero point twelve point four six three so you must multiply by hundred because you have to change to percentage because the rate must be in percentage always so by hundred is gonna give you one four point six three six three so you see that one uh if you look careful right here is all okay we say uh sd okay then we multiply by hand multiply by hand hundred hundred Ah, uh, come please, come on. Oh yeah, okay. 
So you see that? So now we know, okay, well, so let's do the second question. The second question we say uh, is very similar. I'm sorry, guys, for my calculator, but so now I'm not gonna plug in a, uh, in a calculator so that you can save the time. You can plug by your own. So there's a formula that we say we use when whenever there's a relationship between discount and interest rate, simple, simple interest rate. So check it out, check this one, check this one. So the formula we say is D, R equal to D, one minus DT. But sometimes you can use this formula right here, look, you can use this formula right here. You can say T equal to one minus D R over D. If you're looking for time, you can make this up or you can memorize this on the second one. For example, let's look at the second question. They say simple interest rate rate or oh, they give simple interest rate is equivalent to the simple discount rate. You see, whenever they say simple interest rate, simple discount rate. Okay. So they give us our D which equal to this one and our R equal to this one right here what do they say this they want us to find what the time so then we're going to know oh time means we have the second formula so we're going to say what t equal to one minus d d is a discount rate what is the discount rate equal to 12 this one here right this is our d our d equal to 20.5 20 20.5 percent over 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 r what is the r our r we know our r equal 24 percent so we say over 24 percent and then and then after that, you say over D here is equal sign. Okay. Over D. What is our D? Our D discount rate. Discount rate equal to 20%. 20.5%. So our time equal to. Okay, so we plug in the calculator. Alright. We plug in the calculator, right? Let's plug. But remember, this time is gonna be in years, right? The time that I'm gonna get is gonna be years. So we say, well, uh come here, plug in the calculator quick. Okay, plug in the calculator. So you say, well, uh come here. Clean it everything so I'll go quick a little bit. Clean this one quick, and then when you clean, clean and take a fraction, fraction, uh, fraction, 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 fraction. Uh, let me start again. Okay, one, one minus one minus one minus. Okay, and they say fraction, fraction, 20, 20 point, uh, 20 point. 20 point 5 20.5 20.5 20 20 yes 20.5 and there's a shift shift and then percent percent shift and then percent and they go to the denominator right there and they say 24 percent so 24 and they say shift and then percent percent and then you come again under the denominator which is going to be what uh 24% okay okay and they come to the denominator right here come to the denominator and they say 20 point 25 shift percent okay 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 uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay now so we say well plug in the calculator percent pillars pop up pop up pop up pop come Come on, person. Oh, yeah, well, we got E is there. Okay. So now you say equal to. So that's the second question you want to see. So you have to know both formula. Okay. Or otherwise, use the first formula and then derive to the second formula. I'm going to show you that in a separate video because I don't want to mix up two things. Okay. So you say SD and then we say SD. That's going to give you your answer. Okay. Our time, but the time is going to be in years. Okay. So our years time, but remember, this time is going to be years. Means time, our time equal to uh, whatever you have there but since the time is in years means we have to multiply by because this in years but in the option here they didn't give us in years they give us in days so in one years how many days if you have whatever you have in years if you want to change to days you multiply by 365 365 so the answer which we have multiply by 365 because in one year we have 365. What about what is the leap year? Oh, no, no, no. They didn't ask them unless you didn't mention. So that one is going to be 365. Okay. And they give the answer. So when you give the answer, you say equal. Oh, you know, come on now. Give answer now. Equal, equal, equal to. Oh. So our answer is 259. But if you go to the option, 259.655, uh, 259.655. Uh, so our time equal to. Uh, so our time is going to be what in years? It's going to be two five nine point 
six, five, whatever, whatever you have. But when you approximate this, look, this is same as eight, because look, this is more than five, so it's gonna change this, it's gonna become six, so it's gonna be two, six. This is more closer to the answer. So now, make sure you very familiar with both formula because it's gonna help you, okay? So for that being say, my grandmother told me, baby, go and break the world record. For that being say, thanks a lot of your time, man. My name is Natwana, peace, easy. Easy, man. I'll see you soon.